Very well, my friends, it is time. I extend my hand, inviting you to step with me into fantasy. Release your hold on that which you know to be true, and let imagination rule for the next few hours. where we left off or we can skip to the next morning it is your call silas um no i want to put everybody in the spot where in the moment i'm gonna wake everybody up okay um, i want to i want to see falkran and i need to break that statue got it to fulfill my part of the bargain that yes you do confusing. yes you do don't you um all right so there is rim standing and you have just come out of your prayer realizing that things aren't quite the way they were just a day ago what do you do I want to see Falkran all right Rim what do you do um, I see him agitated are you leaving to uh, are you leaving to go find her you're going to take me to her, Rim. I'll forget then. I don't even know where. Where are we? You said a temple. I, this uh, is no temple that I know. I, As you look around you, uh, Silas, you do seem to recognize. It does seem somewhat familiar. Don't you remember? We came here before we went to the tower. The Temple of the Unrolled Scroll is the Temple of Agma. I don't, I don't recall that I ever went past the foyer. Well, if you want to see her, I'll show you. Come with me. Please tell me she's not trapped in a bottle or... No, no she's all right, but she... She did do something I wasn't very comfortable with. I'll let her explain it to you. And I uh, walk him into where Falkrin is sleeping. So Falkrin has actually been praying for most of the night, trying to figure oh. out a way in which to get guidance um, from Ilmater on how best to help her friend. And when he walks in the door, she is oh. absolutely like, <gasps> Do we hear you knock? Bang, bang, bang. The rooms that you're all staying in are fairly close to each other. If you consider yourself to be a light sleeper, it's conceivable that you would have heard it. Go away, it's my acorn. <laughs> <laughs> if we were in the Who's same, there? We'd be in Falkyrie in the same room. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Who's there? I it's yell out Falkyrie. Get. I don't want to yell on the mic. Falkyrie! Silas? Bang, and I bang, bang. get up, open the door, like wrench it open. You're you're alive. You're alive. You're alive. <laughs> Rim, what what happened? And then like I, I like I like go like I, I I reach out and like touch him and make sure that he's like actually there. Like I like I kind of like touch his face and I shove him a little bit and then like poke him a little like it's like is like rim, rim what happened he woke up what? Silas they said she said that you were trapped she said that we we couldn't get to you that you were on some other plane you were being tortured Falkran and I take Falkran's shoulders we need to go back 
We need to go. I need to go back now. Where? where I need you... to go back to the tower. Why? No, you. I have to find that statue that the demon was trapped in. Oh, Silas. I have to find it now. S Silas, the statue is gone. We destroyed it. My statue. <laughs> It's, Jax has what? the pieces of it in his pack. There's too many. It's... Did How you... did, did... After you happened? Healed, after you healed me, you fell unconscious. We couldn't wake you. Even the even the fae, the, the dryads that were trapped in that tower, they said that you were somewhere beyond. Did... So we... We brought you back here to the Temple of Agma. And after... I wasn't beyond. I was right there. I need... What do you mean the statue is broken? After... I have to... After several conversations with the succubus, Elila. Elila, yes. We... We made a contract. I made a contract for information as to where you were and how to get to you. After which, we shattered the statue and sent her back to hell. She's gone. You sent her to hell? Where else would you like me to send a fiend? Silas, what's, what's wrong? You're... You're alive. Yeah, I'm going to look at my left hand. There is a black scar on your left hand. And it is in the shape of a tear running down onto your wrist. Itch it. <laughs> Silas, what's wrong? Did Elila Did you kill her? Or as Persephone wished, did you free her? We released her from the statue. Yeah, in return for the information she gave us as to your whereabouts and the contract which binds her to hell, for we released her from the statue. Are you all right? Sean, can I make an insight check on... Silas to make just I don't movie. think that's necessary. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so Falkron is definitely picked up on the fact that like he looks like a man who is worried that he may have lost his soul. And we the, the rest of us would have heard this in our rooms as this If you wish, I mean, yeah. unless there unless you guys are being deliberately quiet because people are sleeping. Yeah. I'm I'm being very loud, so anybody okay. that's anywhere yeah. nearby is okay. Yes, it's it is within your shot. I would I say that, that that's I, easy easy for you all to and and yeah. not that much in time had passed. So. I imagine whatever rafter Typhus is hanging from, yeah, he hears us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a cloaked figure in the hallway whispers, "said our young paladin returns." Welcome I back look at to Typhon. Living, Silas. You're in far too good a mood, Typhon. What? I can't be happy to see you. We were so worried. And yes, as was I, and that is sincere, if you would believe it. Silas, what did you do? I... I'm sorry. I'm 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 not able to process both what has just happened and the concept of Tython being both sincere and happy at the same time. This is 
<laughs> Fuck too much. It's late. He just woke up. I need. I need to go. I'm going to walk out of the room. Away I'm, you go. I am. I am beelining back towards my little apartment. Uh, yes, Suvathan's walking, walking out of the temple. I'm Suvathan's den. That right. is uh, Suvathan's Glen. That will be in the lower city. You are in the upper city. Um, they won't let me through. They will. They're happy to let people out. They don't let people back in. However, it might be a little dicey unless you still have the um, flaming fist insignia. Correct. I don't know what I have. You do. You have everything that you would have had in the temple. <laughs> yes, in, in I still the, have. <laughs> yes, and for the record, this is where you all went to meet with Corcoran before going to Ramazeth's tower. I'm pretty sure you were here before. But I didn't venture. Literally, I think I like walked in. No, you all spent I, the night there. Yeah, because we had to. We, we had, both, both of us happened? had to get the curses lifted off of us. Right. Okay. Um, well, I'm getting out of here. I'm, I'm going back to my little my little apartment. Very good. Um... We get perception check as you're walking. Is anybody accompanying him, or are you oh, just I, letting him go? I feel like we would try to stop him and make him. All right, I oh will God. not be stopped. Silas, this is ridiculous. You, you just woke up out of a, a coma that you've been in for the better half of a day. You, a day. You, you can't go charging off in the middle of the night. Please, at least stay here in the temple. We I are must. here. This temple is your temple, and it is where you should be. This is not. This my, is not my temple. This is a house of the gods. We are servants of the gods. You belong here just as much as I do, just as much as any faithful follower does. I have a shrine that I must go to now. Fine. My shrine. Fine. <laughs> but, Surely you won't mind having a few friends. I don't care. By her grace, Andrew Lore has not left the city. I don't know that anybody would have heard that name till now. Mm, I do not think so. Bim, do you know who Angelo is? Silas, if you would... there, You are in the company of those who made a deal with some very dangerous entities in order to secure your safety. We are... We care for your safety. We would what help did, you. What and... did you say, Typhon? Yes, please. What did you? Let us explain, and please make some effort to explain what, what do is you mean you so. by deal. In order to gain information that we could use to secure your release, you see, you were unconscious without seemingly without a soul for some time, just a body sleeping, breathing, nothing more. So we talked to this creature and ensured that in addition to her being banished for a hundred years or so to the sixth layer of hell, she would also provide us with information as to your whereabouts and if help could be accomplished, then how to do that as well. It seems it wasn't entirely necessary, but it was the best thing we could think of. So now, the panic. Could you take 30 seconds to explain your side of it? No. After all of this noise, I have uh, peeked out of my bedroom. If we're still in the hallway, yeah? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Should I do something? I whispered to Falkran, should I do something to stop him? I, I don't want to hurt him. I, I don't know what kind of I'm hurt him. I'm just now walking away. I'm just saying, should I? You come to the pool of reflection. Okay, I, I'm going to do it. Um, what? <laughs> what? Sorry. I take out a little vial um, and drop a little um, tiny bead of water onto my tongue what sometimes looks a bit greenish and strange suddenly the color of my mouth changes to more of a red and even the color of my lips flush a bit and i whisper out silas you should stay with us a bit and explain 
what is troubling you. After all, we are your friends, and your best chance lies in cooperating with us. And I cast suggestion at him. <laughs> <laughs> Make your will saving throw, <laughs> Silas. What's the DC to beat? The wisdom saving at the. It's uh, let's find it. It's a um, it's a twelve. You're, you're Ooh, muted. All right, muted Scott. <clears throat> Roll that um, wisdom saving throw, please. Oh! Does he not get advantage against charm than that? As an elf? That's a good question. Um, as a half elf, do you get? Don't you have advantage against? Uh, you're Shepard? muted, Scott. By the way. Yeah, I do get advantage. All right. Well, so let me let me roll again. I still want it to fail. <laughs> You're big things here. All right. You succeed. Um, Hold on. Do I know? What no. Just fortunately, happened? the the the, uh, the the stipulations of the spell. You do not know that you have just been suggested. You hear uh, a very reasonable suggestion from a friend. I'm making the uh, quotation marks, which you can't see. Um, uh, from a friend, but. Um, it just passes over you as empty words would. And I'm trucking and it. I'm, and you're trucking it. All right. Yep. Out you go. I, I don't think it worked, Falcon. Yeah, you think. Astute, Doctor. All right. I gather up my things and, like, hoof it after Silas so that we don't lose right. it. He does have a faster speed than you do, so you do definitely have to hoof it. Yeah. Rim, help. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can still hear me snoring. I will run to... <laughs> gonna, they're gonna leave you. <laughs> You're gonna wake up. I'm not well, uh, that's that. <laughs> that's so, so I dash back into the. Well, actually, no, I think I've got everything. So, so somebody wake Jax. <laughs> uh, right. So I, I run into Jax's room and and say, Jax, I think we're leaving. And <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up Jax and I carry him with me. All right. For the record, you have all benefited from a short rest. Do I have any hit points? Yeah, can we... Uh, <laughs> you have, like, a hit point? Yeah, roll a... Um, roll 2d4 plus 2. Actually, uh, roll, roll, a, roll a short rest hit dice. All right. Can we... Yeah, can can those of us who are on the short oh, rest do that as well? Yes, of course. Roll, roll whatever you... Lovely. All right. So yeah, we're all, a lot of people are suffering from the um, double roll thing that is happening. Unless you oh, roll two, meant to roll two, you roll two. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice Typhon. So that is a seven and an eleven for Silas, an eight for Typhon. Two eights. Did you roll Max twice? I did. Wow. How about that? Anybody else gonna roll any hit dice? I, I want to, but I've forgotten what to click. Well, then you don't get any. And then <laughs> following following that, do I have a long rest? Uh, I think if you click on oh. short rest, it's in there. Well, I just I want to make sure. Um, you have had a short rest. We'll keep this every okay. equitable. Everybody has had a yeah. short rest. Click on short rest, and then you why see don't wanna, Why don't done? I have any spell slots anymore? Did you use any of them during? No, it's like there's nothing there. Ah, there it is. I did not change anything on your character sheet. You so. it, yeah. He's making a no longer a paladin joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> good call. So just I didn't, I didn't alter it, but good for you. I would have mentioned it the first time you went to cast a spell, though. Mm hmm. I would have. <laughs> I'm smart like that. <laughs> Don't you forget it. Anybody else doing anything? Um, I did hit take a short rest, but do I need to sit, roll hit die? Is that yes. the? Thank you. There it is. Cool. Nice. Very nice. Excellent. Good cool job, guys. Good healings. Good all right. So you all follow Silas out into the night. Um, there's a couple of uh, watch guards who are standing there, and they kind of look at you as you leave the uh, the doors of the temple. And one of them goes, "Hey." Um, hold on a second there. I pull in my pocket, I hold out the token, and I say, fist, and then I keep walking. <laughs> fist. Uh, Doran is there also. He looks at it, he says, it's flaming fist business. We'll, well, I should use his correct. 
It's flame and fist business. We'll <laughs> there it is. We'll we won't cause any problems. I promise. I am trucking it, ignoring everybody and everything. All right. I am keeping to the shadows with my hood over. All right. Roll a stealth check, please. Uh, obviously, staying within the group. But okay. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Wow. You're pretty sure you all remembered to bring Jax, but <laughs> oh, I, I, I said I picked him up. Oh yeah, I'm hidden on his shoulders. Yeah, yeah, you got you. I got you, buddy. <laughs> you look like a hunchbacked. Uh, yeah, I forgot I was on his shoulders. Yeah. yeah. Um, get, get inside his backpack. Yeah, it's a goblin <laughs> Bjorn. Uh, all right, let me just check something here. So I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to go to the gate. I'm going to go to whatever is the closest gate I can. can. And then I'm going to continue on and on until I get to my little apartment in the lower city. And uh, once I get there, my intention is to get up into it. It's still going to be mine. It's only been like two hours since we adventured. Um, and I'm going to be looking for Andrelor to okay. see if my mentor is still there. All right, Falcron, as you are careful, as you are running after um, Silas, um, even with the disadvantage, or the, even with the advantage they had because you're moving quickly, you see that you are not the only group of people who are out in the upper city tonight. You see, as you're chasing after Silas, um, several robed, uh, several um, cloaked figures darting in an opposite direction. Looking like they're keeping into the shadows. Nobody else manages to see this, but Falkman with the highest passive perception does. Silas is disappearing out of sight. And I am uh, sprinting. I'm just on it. I, I can't keep up. Rin? Is that who I imagine has caught up rather quickly to me? Yes. I'm also making no attempt to shake anyone or anything. I'm taking the fastest main roads. I'm not. Sean, Sean to my eyes, they're not. They're not tracking Silas. They're no. They're going. It's just two completely different groups. You and them. You're out in the middle of the night, not making much of an effort to hide yourselves. They are out in the middle of the night, and it looks like they were trying to hide from you, but. You know, people trying to hide from themselves, from, from other people in Baldur's Gate, not that uncommon. I try to hide from myself in D&D games every week. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we've, all got, we've all got our... our <laughs> just... In fact, it would almost... It, it's a little odd in the upper city um, because it's much cleaner and better patrolled than the lower city, but certainly not unheard of. Um, it would almost be unusual for you to be the only group of people out at night it's be. all it's all Typhon's people. Yeah. Yeah, catch up to people you, so who I... have gone out to do good deeds and have become yeah. wounded and who need the night surgeon that right. is. So oh. friends. Anyway. So we all know where Silas is going and I No, no I, I don't know that anybody has been to my place. Nope. You don't know. Well then. I'm making no attempt to hide where I'm going. But I don't think any of them have been there at all. That's they don't... true. Okay. So then Nope. I say, so, yeah, nope. We, we, we stay on Silas. Like, All right. You come to the original Baldur's Gate, which is here. Does everybody see that ping? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hooray. Um, and you pass through it. Uh, Silas, you are stopped by the watch. Who goes there? I ignore them. Hey, hey, you, stop. And they move. They're, they're going to tackle you. No. no, they're not. Is this the Flaming Fist? Business of the fly rate fest. <laughs> there, you guys are too far away. Silas, you are about to be attacked by the watch unless you stop and declare your intentions. Oh, I'm this. Attack, 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 attack by the watch. I. Nine hells. <sighs> I pull out my glaive. <gasps> <laughs> and I use oh, and, and I use channel divinity sacred weapon. Rim, you'll have to toss me. <laughs> uh, you go to cast the spell and nothing happens. But with your weapon unsheathed, and it's shiny, it's it's it glows it's shiny. All <laughs> um, they have a job to do. Um, and 
I yell at them to intimidate them that I'm not a criminal. I'm just trying to get home. Um, make an intimidation check, please. Whoa, oh, that will do 25. it. 25. They, uh, you hear talking of, uh, crossbow bolts from above the tower. Baldur's Gate is this massive old portcullis um, with two huge towers on either side um, and there are crenellations at the top of the tower and there's men up there with crossbow bolts pointed down. There's one man who looks like he might be in charge. He's got a couple of um, stripes on his white cloak. They're all holding shields with have the symbol of Baldur's Gate upon them which is uh, a boat with those two exact same um, crenellated towers on either side of them. And uh, they have their swords drawn. And But as you say that, they all kind of take a step back and they're not going out of, you're not getting out of your way. They recognize they, authority. They're not, not, yeah. not ready to just attack. They're and just the like, in, they're just like Doran. And the they guy recognize charge, authority. They bow the, to the, 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 guy, the guy in charge is like, uh, you just want to go home. Yes, uh, home. Uh, I also pull out the flaming fist badge and just throw it at him, and I keep going. What? Well, uh, how far away are we? You're, you're, they you'll, might be have up, you'll be up catching up. Now. You'll be catching up any second. Uh, well, fine, but you need to respect authority, you lower cities. Come, just fine. Let him pass. And they all sort of move aside. Okay, I'm going and, to. At that moment, I'm going you all to catch up with them. I'm going to make a wisdom save to see if I do something incredibly stupid. <laughs> oh boy. I start now. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Well, we got up to six, so that's good. okay. I don't do anything incredibly stupid. I keep going. <laughs> all right. So just as you all arrive, they're starting letting go. Oh, who saw this then? Everyone, stop. Declare yourselves. Let me fist. Let me fist. We are under Hello. the direction of Lieutenant Doran Freeporter. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Doran Freeporter. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's 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 flame and fist business. It's all it's all fine here. Uh, yeah, faster, like, how, how faster. Are you? you speak so slow. Let's go. <laughs> Black molasses. <laughs> out your mouth. <laughs> the the watcher all standing there like if you uh, listen, we're not fine. You want to leave? Get out. Thank you. I scoop up Silas's uh, coin as it uh, from where it is yeah. on the ground. The leaves of Lorien do not idly fall. Oh, very nice. So yeah, <laughs> so you they continue to follow you. Um, your abode, as I recall is in the steeps, which is here, Suvathan's Glen, the inn that caters to elf folk. Where That'll you were staying with Andrelor. Yep. Go in there. You arrive. Your friend's not too far behind. You burst into the room, the common room. This is where Andrelor will off, would often spend his nights since he did not have to sleep. And it is empty. I go to the shrine that we constructed for Vandria. It's and there. It's a it's a large wooden red I'm going to shield with make a I'm just going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. I'll even make a perception check to see if it looks any different. Um, uh, I don't notice anything. <laughs> it doesn't look any different. But Whereas before, when you were to look at it, it would fill you with a sense of peace and purpose. Now you look at it and all you see is a shield painted red. That's not even a good paint job. Looks like something a child would have done. A child trying desperately to impress someone who can never be impressed.
while I recognize that my goddess's holy symbol is that of a red shield, I know that there was power in this shrine. I know that myself and Andrelore, this is where we would pray to her. I put my left hand upon the shield and I just begin praying to Vandria. You reach for that light, that conduit that connects you to her divine power. And it's not there. Of course it's there. It isn't. You feel no different than you felt before you ever knew the name Vanandria. That's a lie. That's not true. Well, you are free, of course, to think and believe what you wish, Silas. Um, and by all means, hold on to hope. It may lead you back to the light. But at this moment, it is not there for you to utilize. And the rest of you arrive at Subathen's Glen. It's a standard sized inn. Um, there are a few more um, leaf and uh, foresty motifs carved into the door and to the woodwork than would be in found in most normal inns. You open the door and see, oh, it's actually quite nice from the facade on the outside. It doesn't look all that special, but on the inside, very clean, very well decorated. There's no such thing as feng shui in Feyrun, but if there were, this particular inn would have it. It's very LV. Yes. Is it like... Rivendell Elfie or like Lothlorien Elfie? <laughs> it is Faerunian Elfie. Yeah. I accept. <laughs> Rivlorian. Just a rip off of all of them combined. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's a little bit of Elf Quest, Ralph Bakshi, oh, and uh, <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, Skyrim, exactly. Just pull an oh. Elf Quest. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Shout out to the peenies. Yep. <laughs> um, Nerds. So. Where's my Wolf Rider CD? <laughs> no, not really. Um, is the shrine, I mean, you come into the common room, adventurers, um, and see no sign of Silas. But it's not a big inn. I'll have an owl, please. There is no it the uh, the common room seems to be closed. Oh, it must be a it must be a serve yourself. <laughs> there is a uh, there Back. is a a, uh, a bar and there are some um bottles of wine behind the bar. No, no Jax, we just got here. I Let's oh. tell you what. Jax, can you find our friend for us? Actually, think we should let him have a moment. We know where he is. We know he's safe here. Let him do what he came to do and join us when he's ready. I know, but it'll keep Jack's busy. We, oh, we haven't look. been here before. We don't. Stepping out from around a corner is a woman who uh, is looks to be half elven. She comes. She's sort of rubbing her eyes, saying, "Um." We're closed. Apologies. Tonight. We uh, we were just following our friend Silas Khan. No. Oh, the door was open. Well, I didn't realize he had any friends. My name is Suvathan. Please make yourselves comfortable. Pleasure. Thank you. Is it all right if we wait here in the common room? Yes. I think that's what it's for. I'm sorry. Uh, please, be at ease. Can I get anyone anything? 
Oh, I'd love some food. Right, some... Is that a goblin? It's a long oh, story. God, it's a goblin! No. It's a goblin! No! She's... Her eyes are wide. She's, like, scooting back. She's, like, tripping over a chair, and she falls, and you, the silence, you hear a clatter from downstairs. Clearly, you've never seen an actual goblin before. I, I know what a goblin killed my uh, uh, father. Uh, have you have you ever seen a goblin come into an inn and politely ask for something to eat? It wasn't me. Take whatever promise. you want. Take take whatever you want. Please don't hurt me, ma'am. No, ma'am, we we are not going to hurt you. This goblin uh, might look scary, but he is our friend, and we can vouch for him. I understand. I was polymorphed. That's a spell, what? isn't it? Yeah, this. Yes, he was polymorphed. Make a deception check. <laughs> that sounds like the an uh, an aid check. <laughs> Do I get right? an advantage right. if he's trying to? This sounds like we tag teamed that to to, to my <laughs> ear. That sounded sure, like yes, um, uh, with advantage. Go ahead. That, that sounds like... perfect. Twenty two. <laughs> <Wait, laughs> okay. Who's making the check? I mean, we, we both wrote back to that. Nineteen or twenty two between That's the two. That's great. Of you. Wow. She's so. I do apologize, magic. my lady. Yeah. Is that right? There's no oh, need. What a, what a no... horrible fate. Oh, you yeah. poor thing. Yeah, yeah. it sucks oh, being come, a goblin. Come here. Come here. What? What are you supposed to be? A goblin. <laughs> I mean, what, she means what your true form is, Jack. He is actually a noble. I bow really from Salt Marsh, though, so you know, doesn't really know the manners. No, of course not. He's uh, it smells poor. like fish a little bit sometimes. You know? At that moment, I come charging out <laughs> into the common room. God, and I love as I story. come charging out, my eyes are wide, and I have a look that I'm totally insane. Cameo. Love it. Uh, and I just kind of, I'm like, I've still got my glaive in my hand. It's still shining. And I look around and look around, and at that moment, my eyes land upon everyone in the room and there seems to be a different look in my eyes it's almost as though they're glowing and then something happens he's gonna kill me any we won't let that uh, happen he has fallen into shadow silas stands there quivering with despair, rage, his eyes are glowing, his hair seems to crinkle up like static, and a burst of light leaves him, scatters into the room, and descends like dust upon you all. Uh, let's see. Tess, make an arcana check. <laughs> Persephone, make an That's arcana check. Uh... Fail. Fail. Fail, fail, fail. <laughs> fail, fail, fail. Oh, I, I... You did. You failed. Your wish is granted. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, is seems Falcon beyond there. a doubt that he just cast a spell. Is Falkrin there? Yes. Uh, yep. Guys, I think that was magic. <laughs> I go towards Falkrin. Who is glowing. Uh, actually, everybody needs to make... Mm, I believe it is a... Dex. Dex saving throw. Thank you. Yes. Took the words oh. right out of my mouth. If you fail, I you are... make an arcana. Uh, go ahead. If you fail, you have... Uh, you nothing happens if you if you fail you are glowing if you succeed nothing happens what is the deck it's to be 14 rim you are glowing typhon you are not glowing of course he's not 
I'm super glowing. Jax, you are glowing. Persephone, you are. Oh, I didn't roll it yet. Oh, I pressed the button. Falcon, you are glowing. Mm-hmm. And uh, all the common, uh, the the person who was freaking out about the goblin, I'm sure that they're glowing. Yes, she's glowing as well. She's just like, ha, 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 ha. This is very amazing. And Falkern is glowing, and I head straight towards Falkern. And I once again grab Falkern's shoulders and say, Tell me that creature was freed. Tell me Elila was freed. Elila was freed. There is no doubt. No diggity. Sorry. I needed ten more seconds and I would have told you that. Silas, you are among friends. But I don't know. I wanted to bury him. To be fair, that's what you also wanted to do with me. Well, there's confusion about what dead is. Only mostly dead. Slightly I... alive. Silas gone of Baldur's Gate. Paladin of Vandria Gilmadre, do hereby pledge to release from imprisonment the entity whose blood herein is mingled with mine own. Should I fail to do this, my soul is forfeit. I sit down on the floor of the common room and I just kind of stare off into space. Sean, did we hear that? Nope. Silas, now's the time to talk. Drow. Drow. Suvathan, the voice, she's looking down at her hands, they're glowing. The Drow do this. They attacked, they attacked my village. They had goblets. And they cast this magic. Right. And they oh. used the uh, poison. And they made us glow like this. This is what the trout do. You sad, tragic creature. Is this a spell I would recognize? By uh, make an arcana check. Uh, it's beautiful. Nope. Uh, seven. You do not recognize the spell. It's called fairy fire. Oh, it doesn't burn. She's it looking won't. at you wide-eyed, Silas. It won't hurt you. They, they have white hair, just like him. He's... My friend is a moon elf. He's not a drow. And rest assured, should any drow or evil creature wish to do you harm, you have a stout group of friends before you. Be at peace. Mm. Make a persuasion check, Falcon. Great. Unless, does anybody want to add to this particular bit of... Persephone, perhaps? Well, I was, uh, I, I, want, I want to do that, but what I was going to say is I went, I was going to go behind the bar and get her a glass of wine and hand to her. Like that sounds like assistance in a persuasion check. Yeah, me. sure. Wine is always assistance. Typhon <laughs> just says, stout. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, so, so somebody make the uh, check. You can either both make one or uh, choose someone to roll with assistance, with, uh, with advantage. Uh, that one show up? Don't see anything. All right. I'll do Ooh. one. Oh, you got it. So that's uh, that's a critical success from uh, I Falkren. I won't do nothing. I'm good. We're good. Uh, she takes a drink from Persephone. It takes a long swig from the bottle. Good, I have some. And around that time, the 
glowing starts to fade away and she calms down noticeably. She says, oh, yes, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it happened when I was a little girl. There's no I, need to apologize. We've I'm, all seen our share of suffering. Just, I'll, uh, I think I'm going to go to bed. Could you, you all don't cause any trouble. Of course, of course. Could you get, just before you go, could you get my friend just something, a little something to eat and something to drink? I'm a bit parched. Um, yes, there, yes, there's some bread in the pantry. And she points over to a door and she sort of walks away. She's a little bit in shock, but okay. And she walks back to her room. Mother gave you peace. Bread. She knows I'm a goblin. I'm going to go find some bread then. <laughs> find some bread. Oh, uh, you know, not bad. Human food. It's, um, you could see the appeal, not what you would choose, but it's light. It looks like it would be easy to keep in a pack. But we need um, some meat or fish, and I'm going to look through the cupboards. Make an investigation check. <laughs> Not my, not my. Oh, there we go. Fifty. Oh, not bad. You find some. Uh, you start with some dried fish. There we go, Jax. And I hand Jax the rest of the bottle. Just the... one piece, then. Just, just, just clean up after yourself and don't make too much of a mess, please. During all this, Silas has just been standing at the foot of the steps, just unmoving, staring um, at nothing. I tried to, if I can, rouse him to. Some sort of awareness. It is up to you, Silas, whether or not you are aroused. You're muted. You are muted, Scott. Staring off into nothing, uh, but tears streaming down the face. I make my, my way over to Silas and again, I ask what is wrong? Well, Falkron. I hope that you're able to hold on to your soul because it took mine to give you yours. I will do everything in my power to repay this debt. But my friend, you must tell me what has happened? Who took your soul? She's in hell. <laughs> Elala? We insisted, didn't we? And then I hold up my left hand and show that it has a blackened mark in the shape of a tear that bleeds down into my wrist. This marks me. Is I'm there any? Out. Is there any way we would recognize that particular shape or mark? Uh. Everyone who has proficiency in religion can roll it. Okay, I roll a 17. Good. And jack of all trades, half proficiency does not count, correct? Mm. It does count. You could roll. Okay. Rolled an 18. 16. This is one of the symbols of Glazia, who rules 
the sixth level of hell. Malbarge. Sometimes it is a mouth over an eye that has got a tear. Sometimes it's just the black tear. Not necessarily this particular devil, but it is one of her symbols. Silas, did you make a deal? I turn to Typhon and say, Typhon, I saved her. Yes, you did. Now we have to do a little bit of cleanup, yes? Silas, we will save you. You may have to. Are you with us? Or are you done after the heroic act you've just performed? Was it all the goddess, or is there anything left in Silas? I'm still me, but... That's enough Looking at the for hand. me, Silas. I don't know if I'll stay me. Well, we'll make sure you do. And if something happens, then we'll get you back. We did it once. I mean no offense. I have no faith in your goddess, though I respect the power that you wield. But to me, it comes from your faith, your power. So rise up, Silas. If you must serve her still, then do so, but do it of your own accord. And come with us. Show her what that power means. I think I might need to rest. That sounds wise. Very well. Silas, you return to your room and you go to bed. You receive a long rest. What does everybody else do? Uh, part, party oh, probably great. finds Jack's uh, table. It, it's cat. about 11.30 at night. Sorry. What's up? All right, so we'll start with Persephone. Persephone, you actually don't live far from here. Do you wish to stay here or go home? Uh, I guess go home. All right. Persephone goes home. Does anybody accompany her? Uh, and uh, and she makes it clear that anybody's welcome. Uh, uh, Sean, jog my brain. Where Where is the temple of Ilmater in relation to where we're at right now? You are here. Uh-huh. The temple of Ilmater is the um, Shrine of Suffering, I believe, is here. Yeah, that's what that's what I thought. <laughs> I was like, so, um, uh, Ray, Mar- sorry, no, sorry. Are you going to stay with him for tonight? I'm sorry. Are you going there's, to stay with? There's. I'll, I'll, I'll stay with him. There's another bed. I go walk back up to the room. There's two I, beds. I will follow him. Jax, you're more than welcome to stay with me. We return to my place. You look round for Jax. He's asleep after downing some wine. He's still laying on the table. That's probably not a good thing. It's probably. Oh, please thing. tell me you pick him up and carry him home with you, like a toddler who's tuckered out from a day at Disney World. <laughs> If not, he's going to get slaughtered in the morning. Like someone who will be murdered if he's still there whenever the people wake (laughs) up. Falcon, where are you going? (sighs) I I cannot. I cannot leave his side. He's he's in too dark of a place right now. I will stay with Silas with Rim. Well, 
Doran says. It seems like this is well in hand. Now that I've seen that everything's taken care of from the adventure we had the other day, I think I'm going to head back to the seed tower, report in, and see to it that you all get paid. He's got seven bosses, that guy. He's got to fill out TPS reports. So could you at least, uh, well, wait, where's Rim staying? I'm curious. We're, we're both going to stay with yeah. Silas. Got both. Could you at least um, carry a goblin to a certain apothecary shop not too far from here? Sure. Uh, sure. Okay. So he's following you? <laughs> Yes. All right. So he, goblin. so Doran takes <laughs> tax, carrying him like a little baby. Hey, and, slugger. <laughs> and he takes you to um, Chuckered. Takes you to Typhon's apothecary in the upper city. Um, you come to the Balder, the Baldur's Gate again, and the watcher like, okay, look at each other, look at Doran. <laughs> Flaming fist business. Doran says, well, yeah, now that you mention it. Is this going to be a problem? And the watch says. Fine. They let you all in and you get to your abode, Typhon. Silas, you are staying at Suvathan's Glen. Rim, you are staying at Suvathan's Glen. Falkren, you are staying at Suvathan's Glen. Persephone, you go home. You all receive a long rest. Woo! Just so you know, Jax, you're sleeping on a very makeshift surgical table. I was going to say, am I going to be worked on or something? <laughs> I bet you no. can find all sorts of uh, all sorts of cool stuff while there's nobody else around, though. Very true. Maybe. Doran says to you, Typhon, he says... Um, okay, well, let's retroactively say that we all just <laughs> I keep forgetting there's no cell phones in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> so, uh, before you all leave, you make plans to meet at the Baldur uh, the sea tower of Baldurin, um, at noon the next day. Sea tower of Baldurin is here. Persephone, uh, before you leave, Rim comes up to you. May I call on you in the morning? I need a favor. Of course. Where do you live? And I show him either on a map or give him specific directions. All right. Um, we're going to say you also live in the steeps, Persephone. Excellent. Morning comes. Uh, if I may, I would like to uh, head over to uh, Persephone's home. As you are walking, you hear uh, somebody, uh, a crier, giving the morning news. Let's see. Van Vampool Scar on found mirrored by dead three cultists. Statues vandalized in the wide. Parliament of Peers meets today. Van Vampool Scar on found murdered by dead three cultists. Statues vandalized in the wide. Parliament of Peers meets today. Sky on. It means, um, like, uh, air. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Like a hair? Like, like a, a hair. hair. There's Deep. a, you know, silent consonant. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, he's, he's, a, he, he's a lower city <laughs> yeah, kid. Yeah, of course. He, I, that was wonderful immersion. Thank it's, you. <laughs> <laughs> um... Persephone, you are enjoying a quiet morning with your mother and father, Oteri and Anan. <laughs> Steel Hollow. Um, 
I have to say it's just wonderful that you're spending so much time around the house, Persephone. <laughs> um, how is um, how are things with the uh, the admiral's thing? Uh, we are still on hiatus. Uh, as soon as we can get back to performing, we will. But in, until then, I'm employed with my friends, and. And in terms of just what we've talked about in the evening, I give them the generics of what of the adventure. There's no secrets or pretending I'm not adventuring or things like that, but I also don't share with them gruesome details in terms of scaring them. Flaming fist. That's good. That's good. That's steady employment. Mm. Mm. Steady employment. I don't know if it's good. Isn't, isn't it just about the time she stopped running them down? Mm-hmm. Publicly, yes, <laughs> and all of her material. They, they and my parents are aware of that. <laughs> They're kind of so. We were wondering if you were planning to find a place to stay. Oh, you know, it- it doesn't make sense for me to get my own place if I'm just going to go back out on the road soon. No, no, I, we understand. Of course, of course. It's just, it's, it's been a while, and uh, yeah, we, uh, we want to support you, of course, Persephone. But um, well, the uh, apothecary shop is. Uh, well, we could use some more help. Is what I'm saying. If if you. If you want to uh, maybe pitch in a few hours here and there, maybe we could, uh, we could, um, uh, uh, well, it's not that we don't have any money. We're broke, honey. We have, we have no more money to support you. So it's great that you're working with the Flaming Fist. Do, Do you have any idea when more money will be coming from that? I... Put ten gold pieces down on the uh, kitchen table. Saying, oh. Well, <laughs> that's certainly that's yes. Um, I'm so sorry, honey. We don't we don't want to make you. You don't f- have to be sorry. Charge Ed. you rent for staying in your own home. I understand completely and happy to give it. Uh, at least I know some of the money that I'm making with the Flaming Fist is going to some good. Yes. Well. Take the money and... Well, I hope you have a good day, honey. Uh, we'll see. I'm actually expecting someone before I go, though. There's a knock on the door. <laughs> the day has dawned bright and clear. There's a freshening breeze. <laughs> There's a freshening breeze blowing from the north, and it's temporarily lifting the miasma that usually blankets Alder's Gate. But the person at the door is not Rin. Um, it's a boy you know as Ajan. He's a barely a teenager. He's a gate guide, sort of a messenger boy, this sort of group of uh, ruffians who hire themselves out to guide people around Baldur's Gate at night and deliver messages. And he's got um, unkempt, sandy blonde hair, way too many freckles, dirty face. Um, and he's got, go a message for you, Persephone. And when I open the door, I'm looking up here because I think it's going to be Rim. And then I go. <laughs> What's the message? I don't know nothing, but he paid a whole damn shard. I'm going to be drunk for a week. And he hands you the, uh, the, the message and scampers off. Have fun. And I read the message. In a very elegant hand, it is of the utmost importance that I speak with you at once, cousin. Meet me at the hissing stones at mid morning. Come alone. Australis Ravenguard. Australis is the daughter of Grand Duke Ula Ravenguard and his wife, Shasra. 
Shastra is your father's cousin, which makes Ostrevis your second cousin. You've only seen each other a handful of times during your lives, but there has always been a connection there. It seems clear that despite your very different upbringings, you share very similar opinions and viewpoints. In a normal family, you'd have been close. Uh, what time is it now? Um, let's see. I believe that, yes, mid-morning. So this would be like eight o'clock in the morning where you are now. So I would reasonably think that I could wait for Rim a little longer before I took off? Yes, uh, because you are a citizen of Baldur's Gate, you have heard of the Hissing Stones. Um, it's another bathhouse, but it's one that has a bit more of a higher reputation. Not necessarily because it's for people of a higher social status, but because it's been around for so long. And it does have a status amongst many of the various guilds and crime factions and organizations in Baldur's Gate as neutral, safe, and private. Cool. Um, I turn to my parents and I show my father the note and I say, do you have any idea why she's reaching out? He looks at uh, his wife and no. No, I um I mean I know that Udar is missing but <laughs> we we have nothing to do with them. I know, we haven't seen them in years. Years at least. Well, uh I'll wait for my friend a little longer, but I can't ignore this. Uh, no, no of course not. Um, well, we'll, uh, got <laughs> time to open the shop, but, uh, hissing stones. Hmm, be careful, Percy. I will. And they, uh, they leave, and you're there by yourself when another knock comes, and this time it is Rim. Ah, oh, it's you this time. Come on in. And I gesture inside. Thank you. Lovely home. Thanks. It's my mom's and dad's. And then I offer him a cup of coffee. Because coffee exists in Faerun, right? It does now. Because so. <laughs> otherwise I don't want to be here. <laughs> no, I, no, I completely understand. Yes. Magic isn't real and this whole thing is a sham. <laughs> That's right. Rim looks uncomfortable and he's uh, shuffling a little bit. And uh, he turns to you, his head down. Do you remember the day that we met? I'll never forget that. I never had the chance to thank you properly. Whether you know it or not, you saved my life that day. I had never you told you of my father, have I? No, but remember you saved mine as well. There's no thanks needed. My father was an elf. My father found me abandoned and raised me alone for 15 years. He was the only man I ever knew growing up. Before I came to Baldur's Gate, he died from a sickness that I was unable to save him from. I fell into such a darkness after he passed that I had all but lost the will to live. When I saw your performance, even though it wasn't meant to be a hopeful or inspiring piece, it was the first time I'd smiled since he died. It was the first crack in the wall of grief that I had carried with me. I owe you a great debt. You have a gift, and it is a gift that I must request once again. Before he died, when my father and I were together, he designed with me a bow. It was a massive bow that 
would require an immense strength to use. I found someone who would craft this bow, and I paid him for it. When I came to collect it, which is why I was in Baldur's Gate, he demanded much more than I had. This is the last memory that I have of my father, and I need to persuade him to give it to me at the price that we agreed upon. I am not a wordsmith. I ask for your assistance. Done. Shall we go now? Well, and I hand him the note uh, that I got from, I'm sorry, what's her name again? Uh, Australis. Australis. Uh, this is my cousin, uh, and and she's asking me to meet her mid-morning, uh, and it's about what time now, Sean? Still, about 15 minutes after 8. Okay. So I have some time, um, but I, I, I can't ignore this. I think this is very important to all of us to make this connection. Um, so what do you think? Do you think we have time to go there now and and still meet her? Sean, where is the uh, bowyer in relation to where we are now? Well, the bowyer, when you f first met him, had a place near the Basilisk Gate. But when you were over there the other day, you noticed that it was closed. Did he happen to have six fingers on his left hand? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but one of them was a very poorly designed <laughs> glove. <laughs> um, where Where is the Hissing Stones? The Hissing Stones is close to the Sea Tower of Baldoran. Okay. This is an errand that can wait. If you want me to accompany you, I won't go inside as the letter requests, but I will remain close by if you need me. I think that's wise. And and then we can immediately go and deal with your bow. Let's go then. And she takes the, uh, uh, Persephone takes the message with her, puts it in her pocket. Right. Um, as you put it away, you cannot help but notice the very last two words, come alone. So as I glance at that, I, I say, you can be near, but you can't come to even the door. Uh, maybe leave me several blocks before we get there. I will respect her request. You tell me where you want me to wait. And, uh, I think I'll just, Persephone will just make that judgment call when she is like, she's like, okay, stay here when she's almost there. And it'll be at least like 10 blocks away. All right. As you make your way towards the hissing stones, you can hear shouting from a nearby corner. <laughs> Van Thampus Sion found <laughs> murdered by dead three cultists. And then there's another voice from the Sion has a sea, you bloody idiot. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Statues vandalized in the wide parliament of peers meets today. <laughs> And then poor Corolla found with no wheels. <laughs> um, so you approach the bathhouse. It's made of stone. It's low. Um, it's one of the oldest buildings in this area. Um, features. You've never been in it yourself, but you've heard that the pools are heated. Lots of tile mosaics. Um, it's very popular with courtesans meeting high paying uh, patrons. It's probably another reason why you've never come. Is there any reason, is there anything in my memory that would jog why here of all places she would want to meet? It's very discreet. Gotcha. Um, and it would probably be one of the last places anybody would find things to look for her. Um, you come to the door, there is a very large, muscled man with a bald head and a pointy black beard and squinty eyes. 
looking, he looks like he probably has some orc blood in him. He's standing at the door, frowning as you approach. Welcome to the hissing stones. To the right, you'll find a private chamber in which you can remove your belongings and put on a robe that you'll find hanging there. Is that required? It is. Mistress's orders. No one goes past the threshold without wearing a robe and nothing else. Very well. You step in. And is the, um, and it's totally private in there? Yes. So I take my dagger and affix it with either like cloth or, or something to my thigh, but mm. like making it so that you can't see it. We're going to call this a disguise check. Um, but I, that's not actually a skill, is it? Um, sleight of hand then. Do have disguises, but that doesn't really. Are you fit. proficient in the disguise kit? Yes. Well, well, then by all means, make a. Hmm, this would be a dexterity check with your oh, proficiency. Oh, I am not. Oh wait, no, I have one. How do I tell if I'm? Is it under yet? tools? You see proficiencies. Under equipment. Do you equipment. have the entertainer background? Yes. Then that has a disguise kit proficiency. Yes, you are proficient. So Great. it'll be difficult for uh, with D and D Beyond. It's difficult to roll a tool check. So do you have a skill that requires dexterity that you are proficient in? Yes. Uh, let's see. Or you could just roll a D twenty. Acrobatics. And acrobatics. <laughs> sure, that will work. <laughs> ah. That is a 22. You are a very deftly able to conceal your dagger along your thigh. Um, no one would know it was there. Okay. Uh, and I there's guess a, I... There's a uh, sort of a thickness to this air, steam. Uh, it smells clean, but it also smells a, a little mildewy. It's an old building. Um, you look around and it's, you know, they don't make them like this anymore. There are uh, tiles on the floor, interesting mosaics around that are very faded, um, sputtering lamplight. Um, it's easy to see why this would be appealing for people who are trying to keep a low profile, especially as you step out and into the steam. It's lightly obscured down here. You can't see that much beyond your immediate area. Um, I, I, maybe, maybe this is too late if I left the note in the changing room, but was there anything that indicated in the note where, how I would find her there? There wasn't, but okay. a, a, a woman comes. She is an elf. She has very pale skin. This is a moon elf, as far as you can tell. Hello. My name is Marilyn. I own this establishment. It's lovely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for abiding by my wishes. It's your place. You make the rules. Follow me. I do so. She leads you down several long halls. It's not long before you're quite confused as to where exactly you are. She stops by a door that slides, wooden panel door, she says. In here. I ask her, do you know who I am? No. Then how do you know where I want to be? Because I was paid a great deal of money. Understood. And I walk in. All right.
One moment, please. I see so much steam. I can't see anything (laughs) for a moment. The the steam parts, and you see Australia. I cut it out and like... (laughs) <laughs> sitting, she's sitting by herself in the small steam filled room her skin is darkly tanned and long black hair hangs in ringlets going down her back and she looks up at you with an anxious smile oh, cousin I need your help well, ha- b- nice to see you I haven't seen you in a long I'm time sorry, I'm sorry yes it's good to see you how is the acting thing going Oh, it's on hiatus <laughs> People are, uh... I'm anyway, so sorry. how can There's I no help? time for small talk, please. And she just, she's also wearing the same robe. Um, have you heard the news from High Hall? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. The, it's, the High Hall is the, um, the governing seat of Baldur's Gate. So it's like somebody saying, have you heard the news from the Capitol building? Um, but that's the circles that she travels in, and you do not. So it's perfectly perfectly understandable that you would notice. Um, there's, there's been a murder. I, I, th- I think it's Mortlock, Mortlock Van Dampoor. His body was found in the wide last night, strung up on the statue of Minsk. It's quite a scene. It seems like cultists, uh, dead three cultists did it. There, there's, their trappings are all over the place. But that's not really important. What is important is that Duke Thalmara, Thalamra Vantampur is making her move. With my father missing and cultists running amok, the parliament will no doubt support her in a vote of no confidence regarding the flaming fist. When that happens, she will nominate a new member of the Council of Four to oversee order. Probably Oswald Havanak. How can I possibly help with any of this? Um, right, um, I'm sorry. She takes a deep breath. Oswald is the sensible choice. He's the High Constable of the Watch, and he's fair to a fault and generally well-liked by the Priors. The problem is that with what Van Damper will do next, she will call for a vote amongst the new Council of Four to create a new Grand Duke. Council members are forbidden from voting for themselves, so the voting process can stand at four-way tie for months. But I don't think this will happen this time. I'm certain that Van Damper has at least one current council member in her pocket, probably Portier. If the vote is called, Van Damper will become the Grand Duke, supplanting father. Oh, Where well, you come in. By tradition, the previous Grand Duke has the final say in whether or not a vote is to be called. It demonstrates that the old regime is not being forced out and is retiring willingly. If the Grand Duke dies in office, then the Parliament of Peers has the final say. Unless the Grand Duke's proxy is available. My mother, but she's very sick. At first we thought it was grief over father's disappearance, but now it's obviously something more serious. The clerics will be able to heal her, I hope, but not before the vote is called. That seems like very specific timing. It is. That's also where you come in. Percy, you look just like her. With a little makeup and the right trappings, you could easily pass for mother. A grieving woman, recently recovered from illness. You could use illusion magic, but it doesn't last, and there's too many ways to circumvent it. But how could anyone expect that we'd have the audacity to try a simple imposter in costume? Wow, uh, there's a big consequence if we get caught. Yes. I'm not I'm not unwilling, but I think both of us I I understand and she puts her hands in her head. It's, it's, that woman I've heard such terrible things. I I've heard that she worships devils. She cannot become the new Grand Duke. 
She cannot take father's place. I... With my mother sick, there's there's no one I can trust. You can trust I, me. I, I knew that. As soon as I asked myself that question, I, I knew the answer was you. And this crazy plan, I know it's crazy, but we just need to keep the vote from happening. By now, they've no doubt already named Osmo the Fourth. So there is a new council of four. So next, Thalamra will call for a new Grand Duke. When does Tomo the new vote happen? Tomorrow. I'm sure it will be tomorrow. And around what time, if you had to guess? As soon as the council is convened. Probably not too long after dawn. And... The goal is to simply stall the vote, yes? Yes, yes. Just say that you do not give consent. It won't last long. They'll figure out a way around it, I'm sure, but it will at least give us some time. And it's the last thing that she'll be expecting. I think this could work. Is there anything of your mother's that I could have or wear that Oh, that of might... course, of course. I'll send a palanquin for you this evening, and you could spend the night at the manor. And tomorrow we'll, we'll make sure that you look the part. And nobody knows where your mother truly is right now? Oh, she's at home. She's, she's ill, but, but we'll make sure that no one sees her when we leave. Maybe some sort of magic to hide her presence? I, I don't... I, something. We'll, we'll figure something out. Even if she just stays locked in her room with her servant. Okay. Um, or, or, or if you have anybody, do you do you have anyone you trust that could stay with her? Several people. Who uh, would you like me to send them all, or just one? I don't know. I feel like the fewer people that know about this, the better. But I, I mean, you were right. The consequences if we're caught are terrible. Think about. Maybe it's best if no one else comes. I, I'll leave it to you. Your judgment. Okay, I'll send you at least one person. Well, I'll send a palanquin for you this evening. Whoever you want to join you should be waiting with you. And and don't forget when you send that package, something, things that are very clear, if she has a necklace she always wears, things like that. A palanquin is a mode of transportation. She's going to send oh. you a uh, couple of servants carrying a box that you sit in and it carries you. Package. A, you know, palanquin. Got it. Uh, what, but when you send the clothes, the things that I can use... No, you, you get them at the house. Understood. Thank you. Uh, so I should come tomorrow before dawn, yes? <sighs> right. Tonight, I'm Tonight. sending you a palanquin to your home. Please don't make me regret this. It will take you to our manor. You will spend the night... There you'll find all that you need so that you will depart from our manor to go to the High Howl tomorrow. Understood. The steam in here, it's hard to hear. I understand, yes, of course. Um, thank you, Percy. You're welcome. I'll do my best. I hope this isn't a terrible mistake. Me too. She gives you an awkward hug and then leaves. Okay. And I think we will leave it there for this evening. <laughs> awesome. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you had a good time. Lots of role playing this evening. Not much rolling, but I find that just as fulfilling. Hope you do as well. Have a good evening.